Hey guys, Rusty Miner coming at you with a knife review on the FN Grout EF922. Coming at you from what looks like a battleground for trees. We got a dead tree laying up on this set of rocks here. We got another one dead here. Another one that's fallen. Uh, kind of a burned one. A pile of all these branches. We got one stump sticking out here and a small little one. Now we got a tree over here that's growing and all around us the other trees are making it but it's almost like this feels kind of kind of like these trees. I have no idea where that one came from up there. So anyway EF uh, 922 this one is a flipping slip joint. It's got G10 handles uh, they have this nice starburst on the end, it's sort of like the the screw in there, uh, and they starburst from that. Available in orange and an olive green, a deep carry pocket clip, works pretty well, is pretty deep, just uh, kind of thin on the jeans. So what you do with this one, is you give it a flip out like that, and we're looking at 14C28N blade steel, the first effing growl that I've seen with that blade steel. So EF922 14C 28N nice pivot collars. Well, about a $26 knife. Now check this out. This is real fun. Oop, almost got it. If you just give it a tap just about where that E is kind of a fun fidgety knife. So stick around. We'll take this inside do a sharpness test and a size comparison and for bonus at the end of this video I want to show you how the Citivin ST128 holds up uh, with work gloves on because of the way that these liners extend past this G10 uh, you got a nice grip with that so stick around like I said at the very end thanks guys and we're back we're inside and we're going to take a look at the Effing Grau EF922 indoors. Uh, there's that starburst I was telling you about. Thinking about dyeing this, not sure what color. Uh, open frame construction, well excuse me, does have a G10 uh, backspacer. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to remove this pocket clip without getting some different screws. Uh, because of those spacers, that's going to be a really long uh, screws. Uh, it does work okay, it's just pretty narrow if you want to put it on your jeans. I uh, did find it slipping uh, on and off pretty easily, but a uh, little bit of work. So uh, let's see if we can see blade centering looks good. And I showed you guys the action out there. Uh, that's what the G10 looks like, the jimping. Of course the jimping comes all the way around so we can open it up. As I said, this is the first F and Grau I've seen with 14C 28N blade steel. And it's a nice nice, nice uh, size knife. I'll get that out there. They do have the 14C marked in there. Saw a, another knife like this on Amazon. Uh, the Jan Xanadu. YX622 and it runs $35. I believe I paid $26, $27 uh, for this one. does have some steel liners. They're pretty thin. They look to be a little bit nested but this is not a hard use knife and I can see that liner. It doesn't look like it goes all the way back. Hard to tell. Maybe that's where the backspacer starts is yeah doesn't look like it is a uh, a light use knife so yay got her done under the camera just give her a easy flick open and then push right about above the E and you gotta keep your uh, finger from stopping it when it when it goes through. So, what else you got in this size range, Rusty? Well, it's a good question. 
There's a take a look at it with the rake P662, also in 14C, and runs around $28. Does have a nice uh, thumb stud action just on one side, and I'm calling that a Warncliffe type of a blade. Uh, you know, 14C by Rake is really good stuff. This one runs on uh, washers, but after playing with it a bit, I've gotten gotten her pretty good to shake clothes. So we'll open that one up. Trying to get these two pivot to pivot there. You guys can take a peek at that. The rake is not as deep carry. I'm going to wipe off this blade here. And we'll break out one more knife. Want to be a party with just two, right? Uh, and that's the Rat 2. So, which is a small knife, uh, in my opinion. So we're looking at this F and Grau being a smaller knife, just a little bit. Okay, how are ergos? Well, very neutral. So it tucks in real nice. You can get four fingers on it. Well, three and a half. Uh, you got to be careful, I guess, when you go to, if you need to push down, don't do it before you start your cut. You'll break the detent on this one. So, But it's going to be good. It's going to be uh, real stainless, and you can use use it for a lot of you know just everyday type tasks uh, let's go ahead and do a cut test what are we looking at here love the dog jokes everything was starting to come into focus for farmer mcdonald his missing sheep his missing beer and his collie shep who was getting just a little too sociable for his own good looks like shep's hanging out with the wolves there so come on shep do your job. Okay guys, <clears throat> how's the sharpness? Well, let's try to start close to the heel for you. Yep, that one felt really good. Yeah, all the way there. Just try to get all the way. All right, we gotta test the tip of this thing. Yep, okay, good. So good on paper. Let's give it a go with uh, the foam peanut. And we'll try right here. Oh, come on. Nope, didn't do it. Let's put it up against the rake. All right, that's factory edge from the rake. This is actually factory edge from this rat because I don't use that this very much, but just showing. Yeah, super. So, need a little bit of work. It is sharp, don't get me wrong. Uh, this could be, could be sharper. It has a nice looking edge, but uh, we, can, we can do better. So, we'll get that one touched up. Uh, stick around for some bonus on this one. Did a video on this. Uh, ergos are a little bit, well, it's comfortable right there, but if you're going to use it hard all day long, it's got some sharp edges right in here and right across here, and uh, this is muted jimping, but uh, stick around, see how this looks and works with the glove. So, and I did uh, put just a new edge on this, I'm not really happy with the final you know it looks like still got some some swirl patterns in there but uh, oh. it's better than it came and it came it came pretty sharp so 
Let's see if we can do that. Okay. All right, guys. Stick around. See this one in work gloves. Thanks for checking out the channel. Okay, guys. There's a dog in action. Hey, I wanted to show you this Citivin ST128. Uh, how it works with work gloves. I got a pair of mechanic style gloves on. Uh, this thing has some extra style jimping and pretty coarse liners. The liners are extended past uh, the G10. A good access to the lock bar running on bearings. See how smooth that is. Uh, super thin. I did put my own edge on this and good slicer really good ergos locks up great in the gloves so kind of wanted to share that with you even though we're on a different knife video here but look at that it is boom ball shutty